Joining us now is Ojinika Ojiyokwe with stories trending around the world. Wow. Hello, Good Jinex. Good morning, Dr. Abati. How are you this morning? Good morning. Fantastic. Good morning, Aya. Good morning. Why are you so excited? Tell me why you're excited before I tell me. So, Good morning. How are tattoo, you this morning? Tattoo, tattoo neck. Yeah, well, I felt Army like, green, you know, we... Everything. Green, white, green. <laughs> I heard of Nigeria's 64th birthday anniversary, right? Are we clapping for Nigeria? We have survived, really. Yes, so I had to do this to uh, well, 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 usher in, yes, yeah. solidarity. Oh, usher in our 64th anniversary. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, also there is the big story about tomorrow. There's going to be a nationwide protest mm -hmm. tomorrow, yeah. even though the federal government and the police have said that, you know, they've warned against it. I mean, Omoye Leshoore, who is one of the um, organizers of this end bad governance protest, has said that it is going to commence tomorrow. I mean, there is going to be nationwide the meeting mm -hmm. point will be in Abuja. And, you know, they have every reason to protest. It's talked about the rise in full prices, the inflation Honor. rate, and obviously the devaluation of the Naira. But there was this newspaper article, I want to be a little bit violent today, <laughs> Buy or Nonuga, if we can pull up that newspaper article. <laughs> we have that. <laughs> when Buy or Nonuga at the time had urged, you know, he's been urging us to be patient after one year of, um, of uh, President Tinubu. But there he is, six weeks after the birth of democracy, our people are yet to feel the impact of leadership. So what do we say? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was in 1999. Yes, 1999. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mr. Nonuga, I think he's 67 now. Yes. He was uh, 42 mm -hmm. at that time. And, you know, still at the top of his, of game, his game as yeah. a vibrant, you know, uh, journalist. So, you what know, you with mean? age, yeah. you know, you tend to mellow. You tend to see things differently. Yeah, things have changed. So, but, but at that time, they were you know, telling he, was us a, he was a very active. Absolutely. It was only pen. six weeks. Six now, weeks. this is one year, and our Nigerians want to go out to protest. The federal government have been urging us to calm down. But, I mean, they've said it's going to be a peaceful protest. So let's Maybe see what's going to happen tomorrow. Two, you will be less... <laughs> Oh. I doubt it. For life. For life. You know me now. For life. <laughs> for life. No, no, I don't think yeah. so. Well, I'll always be When you're fiery. already a grandma, I'll always be when children hopefully. see things in there another way, you are likely to see it another way. So well, all right. Well, all right. We come I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's his administration now, so I, I'm, I'm hoping he'll remember at the time how he felt. Well, you know, before we begin what's trending, would like to congratulate our very own Rufayo Saini, who over the weekend hosted students from various schools to a debate on what should matter more to Nigerian leaders, regional interests versus national interests at the Oseini Center in Odogbolu, Ogun State. The event was the second annual debate at the Oseini Center since its inauguration. Rufai, I cannot stop commending you for your amazing work. What is the most important? I mean, we have health and then we have education. Education is the bedrock of any society. Well done. I want to hear a little bit about your experience with the students. I heard the students, they were fiery. They were very intelligent. And, you know, they talked about the fact that, you know, regional interest can also be for the good of national interest, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, they were both sides. Yes. And, and it, it just feeds into the conversation, yeah. the narrative we have around, you know, this independence, the regional interest Absolutely. and national interest. Yeah. You know, I, I think most importantly, and like you said rightly, Dr. Abati, it's the values of the leader. Yeah. Because if, if you, if you have a regional is. government mm -hmm. and the leader has a lot of problems, yeah. then definitely that problem is going to cascade down. Yeah. In fact, one of them was saying how deplorable things are in their school in Odogbolu. Yeah. And it start to look and chat across and say, okay, why are things not working? Mm -hmm. It goes back to the character of the leader. And maybe that's even going to involve the debate next year because we, we always do it annually. Right. But I also like to thank very specially, you know, if you look at the pictures there, you'll see uh, Justice, uh, retired Justice Adifo yeah. Koji. We have know, him. There, he, uh, there she is. Uh, retired oh, uh, uh, Court of Appeal judge, also from, from Odogbolu. Wow. There, and, and her sister, you know, Ronke, coming to grace the, 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 the occasion. The, the most important thing is how can we 
start having conversations about the future. Yes. You know, and all of them are winners. You know, Princeville Academy met winner in the end, but we had Princeville Academy of Dogulu Grammar School. Yeah. You know, we had Comprehensive High School of Dogulu and Valiant College, you know, the, the four schools. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, we need to have this debate amongst our people and, and pretty Absolutely. much let them understand yeah. that we need to hold our leaders accountable. I love The it. reason love we it. have the problems we have yeah. in society is because of our leaders. See, truth is, Oji. Yeah. I, put, I tweeted something yesterday. I said over 50% of your prayer point in Nigeria is because of bad leadership. Mm. Mm -hmm. If leadership worked, right. you would not be praying for power. You would not be praying for things yeah. to work. Yeah. Over 50% of your prayer point is because of you bad leadership. You know what I love? The fact that you're starting them young. I mean, yeah. I love to hear that debate. Yeah. It was brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And you talked about the fact that, you know, they said... Uh, your yeah, schools are deplorable. Deplorable, sense. really, in the same vein. In the same vein, though, a journalist, filmmaker, and social media sensation Dan Bello took it upon himself to renovate a classroom at a government primary school in Kano State. Bello, who has uncovered various social and political stories in Nigeria, said that more than fifty thousand government primary schools in the north are dilapidated. He renovated the classroom for free so that the students can study in a conducive environment. Please, can we applaud this young man? This is what we need to do. I mean, he said he spent about four million naira, but we can do it as well. But yeah. 50,000 schools in northern states, it's, it's appalling, really. Yeah. And I wanted to highlight this story, especially because it's in Kano State. And it also leads me to another story where we've seen an amateur video showing Hundreds of young girls sitting idle in Kano State. Let's take a look. These children are supposed to be in school. Look at it, part two. Children are that are supposed to be in school. This is Kano. This is Kano. Children, ladies, female children, young, young children. Below the age of 10 years. Some of them are three, four years. This is a children. The other one was part one, that is for women. This is for children. Children that are supposed to be in school. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. All our children are in school. Look at it. Look at it. See children, they are even fighting. Look at it. They are even fighting. They are fighting. I mean, this is our country, 64 yeah. years later. You know the statistics, I mean, that has been bandied around is about 70% of out-of-school children are in the northern states. Yeah. Something's got to give uh, I Nigeria is home to one, if not the largest out of school children in the world. Mm -hmm. And this statistics has been on for, for many, for many um, years and many administrations. Yes. But the truth is that when people or individuals go out of their way to fund projects like this, for million naira, we see receipts of a night out in town, yeah. in Lagos or Abuja, costing a lot more than four million naira. To be honest, it is the goodwill, the good gesture of individuals, private organizations coming together as active citizens to support the efforts of the government. But when we say that, then we then look at the government, which is primarily responsible yeah. as a result of the trust of, if we pay our taxes, certain things should work in the country. That's yeah. it. But we don't see that often. Instead, and that's why we criticize things like putting 21 billion naira to build a house for the deputy god. Do you know how much, how many schools that amount of money Absolutely. would build? Absolutely. Yeah. Students continue, and that's why we keep talking about the resilience of Nigerians, not mm -hmm. just the older people, even the younger people. Yeah. Because if you see the conditions in which they are meant to learn and they come out or emerge as stars, especially yes. when they go abroad, we need to really salute them. But I think this is a wake-up call for the Ministry yeah. of Education. A we need wake to up fix call. You said it right. A wake-up call for the Ministry of Education. I always say, Nigeria, go survive. Let's continue on what's trending. The governor of River State, Similaye Fubara, at a Thanksgiving service organized as part of activities marking the 64th Independence Day celebration of Nigeria on Sunday, gave an account of his first year in office, saying that in just one year, he has done more for the people of River State than what his predecessor did in eight years. Fubara also, in an apparent jibe, at his political opening, stated that he approved the construction of an ultra-modern hospital, which includes a psychiatric ward in Obiokbo, local government area of the state, because they will need it. Let's take a look. It is Fumara that has awarded 
Transcalabari Road that they couldn't do. They did only a bridge from Krakrama. I am the one doing it. 225 billion. I didn't borrow. It is this San Fobara that is building a general hospital, which I also included a psychiatric hospital because they will need it very soon in their place. So tell them what I have done in YA is what they did. Like I said, let them make me talk. Let them make me talk. It's only empty container that makes noise. If God has given you opportunity, eat your thing and keep quiet. Ha, we want you to talk, uh, Fubara. Talk well, off. yes, I'm weak, eh? Just a day before Fubara gave that speech, said that none of his political opponents can fight him. Wike was speaking during a reception organized in his honor by the Ijo People's Congress in Port Harcourt River State. Wike also boasted that he is too big for anybody to fight him, no matter how highly placed they are. Let's take a look. People don't have integrity. Don't ever you think that they are fighting me. They're not fighting me. I'm too big. I'm too big. I'm too big. If you don't recognize somebody who is bigger than you, then you know you are sick. I'm far, 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 far. All of them put together. They cannot stand it. When people said, when people said they will put hand here, I told them, if you come here and put hand, something hand to go enter a pump place, not so. Now they cry. They cry now. They cry. They they cry. I was hoping you would sing that. I see they pen them. He go the sweet us. I see they pen them. He go the pen them. I see they pen them. Well, you know, before I come to you, Dr. Fatih, still at that event, in the same vein, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Heineken Lokobori, during that event organized by the Ijo People's Congress in honor of Wiki, said that the FCT minister facilitated his appointment. Let's take a look before we come back for a discussion. Me that is standing here today as Minister of State Petroleum Resources and Oil, is also made possible by Yeso Wicked. Some of you may not know my journey, my second journey of becoming minister started in the house of the FCD minister in Port Harcourt and it was concluded in his house in Abuja. All right, Dr. Bati, the Nigerian way. Go ahead. <laughs> it's very good to see uh, Governor Fubara mm -hmm. uh, regaining his uh, composure. Yeah. You know, uh, being uh, very confident mm -hmm. and at every turn asserting himself. Mm -hmm. Initially, when the fight between him and uh, Minister Wiki started, uh, he was so, you know, uh, meek and uh, so, you know, uh, respectful. Uh, but now, you know, he has gained confidence. Yes. And I think that will inspire many of his supporters too. Uh, one of the things he said is that if people are saying that he should give his liver and kidney so as to show loyalty, that he will not give liver and kidney, <laughs> that he will just do what is right for the people of River State yeah. and he will stand by the path of uh, justice. And that if the wala is too much, he would rather go back home to mm -hmm. stay with his wife. So that confidence uh, is very interesting. However, we see now that... Uh, the entertainment from River State is unending. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, Wiki was uh, at that event where they had uh, a reception for him, purportedly by the people of uh, you know, Fubara's uh, Ijoy ethnic extraction, who even thanked him for making their son uh, governor. Wiki also you know, said at that uh, event that in fact many of his projects mm -hmm. are being claimed by uh, Fubara and uh, in any case, Fubara, the following day, had the opportunity to talk back at his uh, former benefactor. And it was in that context that he was now saying, in fact, he has, 
He has uh, initiated the building of a modern, multi-complex psychiatric hospital in Obio Apo local government area, which is where Wiki <laughs> comes from. Yeah. And he says that we need it very soon. Well, I, we may just ask the question, who does uh, uh, Governor Fubara intend to send to that psychiatric hospital that he was speaking with such certainty? And he was announcing that, it in church. That the people <laughs> of uh, Obiapo will need it very soon. Yeah. I don't think that the uh, people of Obiapo will pray that any of their children should end up in a psychiatric uh, hospital. But this is politics in River State. And I think that the uh, bottom line is that the bigger interest should be yeah. the interest of the people of Rivers. No matter how entertaining this Fubara uh, versus Wiki Tango mm. uh, may appear to be. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You know, uh, local Bori story too. I mean, it was kind of um, trending. It was viral because yes, it was that, that type of uh, conversation. We had um, Senator Adam Soshomole on the, oh, on the Sunday morning show yesterday. And, you know, we started off by asking him if he was, you know, now oh. the godfather of uh, <laughs> <laughs> those things, which he clearly debunked. But this is what happens in Nigeria. The minister says, Wike made him minister. Ha. Naso. It's not able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Naso. In, in all yeah. reality, yeah. you have people influencing things. Right. You know, for people. And probably because it was from that zone, mm -hmm. Wiki might have also, you know, had a hand in the influence on all of this. But what is most important is this. There's no problem with influencing. Mm -hmm. But do we influence people with the best capacity That's the possible? Point. That's okay. the point. So, because if what he's saying is that Wiki can influence, so if Wiki can influence, then Wiki can also influence somebody that has no capacity to be able to get up there. And obviously, you now start to have IOUs towards the person that influenced you. Just like how the Ijo people are now thanking Wiki for making their son a oh. governor. The truth is, is he Ijo people? Is it Wiki that made his son a governor? So the reverse people didn't play any role in all of this. Right. You can see what is wrong with democracy. So. For those that argue against regional government like it was in my mm. debate in school, yeah. if you give people like these leaders that we have, regional yeah. power, say, okay, one man is the head of all the region. Right. He's going to become God. That's just it. Yeah. So it is still, it goes back to values mm. and the character of the politician and the need to bring up strong institutions. Absolutely. Because it just also goes back to the regional argument. We have seen the roles of people who have played in Lagos politics. If you now give them all the Southwest region, then we become God. Right. In fact, if we don't have regional government, we saw the role they played in influencing the whole of Southwest. If you now give them that power. But also, it is about how we can make these politicians accountable. See, let us correct that notion. No how? man makes the other man. Absolutely. How we can make That's these just it. politicians accountable. the contrast it will... between Senator and Luku. Aineken Lokobiri yeah. and Governor Fubara. Uh -huh. This is uh, Senator Aineken Lokobiri coming into the open to say, Wike is the godfather. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have Fubara <laughs> saying, he no. will take a psychiatric <laughs> hospital to Wike's uh, village. That, that, that contrast is Kubara. completely... Yeah, the contrast. Is what yeah. they're asking for, this liver and kidney. And I was going to ask <laughs> to define the liver and kidney because we know how godfathers can right. sometimes become so high-handed. Yeah. And they're asking for the impossible. That yeah. They don't want to be... They want to that just make happens. the yeah. governor the stood. Right. And so that's the liver and kidney they're talking about. You can help someone, but don't so, do it in so such a way that... Oh, how to make until we make the people yes. that vote in elections the godfather and the people must be respected. The people are the godfather. I the know. people must be the godfather. All if right. you keep yeah, having if this political right. cannot give wicked yeah, let's human let's... kidney. <laughs> let him give uh, maybe one kidney. After all, every human being has two <laughs> kidneys. All right, talking about, <laughs> 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 talking about holding our people accountable, let us just move very on to much, this. Uh, let's move on to this, actually. Well, Senator representing Borno South, Senatorial District, Ali Indume, has said, that corruption is rife in Nigeria because politicians who steal money are celebrated for doing so. The senator spoke in Kano on Sunday during an interactive session with journalists, adding that in developed nations, people question the source of one's wealth. But in Nigeria, you are venerated for flaunting ill-gotten wealth. I mean, this is, I, I needed this to sink in because Ali Ndume just made the right point there. And I want to tie it in with the story, I mean, as, as Onga wrapped up last week. 
President Joe Biden delivered his farewell address to world leaders at the United Nations General Assembly. He took a moment near the end of his speech to reflect on his decision to end his campaign, saying that as much as he loved the job of being president, he loved his country more. I made the preservation of democracy the central cause of my presidency. This summer, I faced a decision whether to seek a second term as president. It was a difficult decision. Being president has been the honor of my life. There's so much more I want to get done. As much as I love the job, I love my country more. I decided after 50 years of public service, it's time for a new generation of leadership to take my nation forward. My fellow leaders, let us never forget some things are more important than staying in power. It's your people. Let this sink in. I thought it was an important sound bite for, to play for our Nigerian leaders. I believe they were even saying some African leaders were not even smiling during that last sentence he made. But I think that is such a valid, valid point that he made. Before I come to you, let me take this one. There was a hilarious moment at Onga when Haiti's transitional leader, Edgar Fils, had to pause his speech to drink water from a jug. Let's take a look. Respect. Res respect for its dignity and its right to a dignified and prosperous existence. I thank you for your attention. Merci. Comments that trail this was hilarious. People were asking, uh uh, didn't they have a cup for him? Why would they have? Yeah, but there was a cup for me. What did it signify? Oh, he was quite nervous. Yeah. I mean, there is a lot to deal with in friend. Haiti. Yes, Go people ahead. may have been laughing yes. at, uh, you know, what uh, right. feels. Right. That's his name. The man uh, who filled the gap when, uh, you know, there was crisis, crisis in, in Haiti. Crisis in Haiti. Yeah. But the situation in Haiti is not. Funny at, at all. all. That's a country that has been taken over by gangs, you know, and by violence, with uh, Kenya leading the multinational support uh, security services uh, in that country. I think the international community, you know, should pay attention to what is happening in Haiti, because Haiti looks like a neglected part of the world. As to what uh, President uh, Biden was Biden, saying yes. in his valedictory speech at the uh, UNGA, well, he made the point that the politicians present should always remember yes. that the people are more important. Yes. And this is the point that we've been making Absolutely. in River State, mm -hmm. that the people of River State are, are more, more important, important than Wiki, they are more important than Fumara. Finally, what uh, uh, Senator Alin Dume was saying, this is the thing we've been saying about values. Nigeria is a country where values have failed. Absolutely. This is a country where you will see a man in January. By June, he already has uh, houses in Banana Island. He has a retinue of uh, exotic cars. Yes. And nobody will ask. Yes. Even his family will say, oh, we thank God. Oh. Uh, God has favored our child. Yeah. They will not ask questions. We need to rejig our values. You system. know, young girls, really? young boys, really? they are into Yahoo Yahoo. Their parents no longer ask questions. Right. Sure. We need to rejig our value system. We'll take our final story. Well, former president Olusegun Obasanjo has been spotted in a video showing off his dance skills. The 87 year old who was a wedding guest over the weekend challenged the couple and guests to a dance off and showed off his strong knees dancing to, how do you say that? M-I-U, by what's you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Young 
Nation, King Wai. But obviously, Olusegun uh, Obasanjo has to be congratulated. At 87, he's beautiful. I mean, fantastic. Baba is not Baba. 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 some of the young men that we see want a dance off with, with Rufai. Look at why in the studio, struggling to be fit. <laughs> well, all right. I'd love to thank you all. Grace. As always, fantastic. For your great analysis on what's trending. Well, that's all I have for you guys on What's Trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.